Magandang araw! Panibagong linggo na namang muli para sa ating pagkatuto. Kaya sa video ito ay pag-uusapan natin o tatalakayan natin ang Math 4, Quarter 1, Week 5 na may topic na Solving Multi-Step Routine and Non-Routine Problems Involving Multiplication and Addition or Subtraction. Tara at simulan na natin. Simulan natin ang aralin sa pagbibigay kahulugan ng mga mahalagang salita. Unahin na natin ang multi-step word problems. Multi-step word problems are math problems that have more than one operation. An operation can be addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. The key to solving a multi-step word problem is to carefully read the problem to know the important information and build an equation or number sentence. Routine word problems are word problems that require appropriate strategies and tools to solve it. Non-routine word problems, it is a type of word problem that requires some degree of creativity or originality to solve. It can be solved by drawing a picture, using a number line, making table, and others. For routine word problems, we have an example. Felix had nine boxes of marbles. Each box contains 35 marbles. He gave 210 marbles to his playmates. How many marbles were left to him? Hmm. Let us solve this multi-step word problem using Polya's four step in problem solving. It is understand, plan, solve, check, and look back. Narito ang Polya's four step in problem solving. Una is understand. Under sa understand, the first thing you need to do is know what is asked in the problem. Ano ang hinahanap o tinatanong sa problem? Sa so word problem na ibinigay kanina, ang ask ay the number of marbles left to Felix. Then, Know the hidden information o hanapin ang uh, impormasyon o the given facts to look first or dapat unang hanapin. Sa case kanina, the hidden information is the total number of marbles Felix has in 9 boxes. Then, Find the necessary information or the given facts in the problem. So, isusulat o i-identify mo yung mga may ibinigay na facts sa problem. So, we have 9 boxes of marbles, 35 pieces in each box, and 210 marbles given to his playmates. So, dito tayo magbabase ng susunod nating step, which is plan. Under plan, ang unang gagawin is you are going to identify what is the operation to be used. So, we have multiplication and subtraction. Then, write the number sentence. Based the, sa binigay na given facts at sa operation to be used, kagawa ka ng number sentence. Sa binigay na word problem, we have 
9 times 35 minus 210 equals N. Kapag naisulat mo na ang number sentence, proceed ka na sa next step which is solve. So, solve using the operation. So, multiply muna tayo. 9 times 35 is 315. Pagkatapos, next step tayo. 305 minus 210 is 105. Pagkatapos nating mag-solve, proceed tayo sa next step which is Check and look back. So, state the complete answer. So, check your answer. Then, ilagay mo na ang complete answer. Felix has 105 pieces of marbles left. Napakadali lamang, di ba? Sundan lamang ang Polyas 4 step in problem solving at Magiging madali para sa iyo ang pag-solve nito. Isa pang halimbawa, Lira and Mira supported the clean and green project of their barangay. Lira aimed to collect 55 plastic bottles a day, while Mira aimed 60 plastic bottles a day. How many plastic bottles will they collect after 5 days. Para ma-solve ang problem, gamitin lamang natin ang Polya's 4 step and problem solving. So una, understand know what is asked in the problem. We have the number of plastic bottles collected in 5 days. Then, know the hidden information or the given facts to look first. We have the total number of plastic bottles collected in a day. Then, find the necessary information or the given facts in the problem. We have 55 plastic bottles collected by Lira, 60 bottles collected by Mira, and 5 days. Then, next step, we have plan. What is the operation to be used? Addition and multiplication. Then, write the number sentence. 55 plus 60 times 5 equals N. Kapag naisulat mo ng number sentence, pwede ka nang mag-proceed sa next step which is solve. So, solve using the operation 1, 55 plus 60 is equal to 115. Then, next operation, 115 times 5 is 575. Then, proceed to last step which is check and look back. Check your answer. Then, state the complete answer. Lira and Mira collected 575 plastic bottles in 5 days. Tapos na tayo sa routine word problems, kaya next tayo sa non-routine word problems. Narito ang example. Feli has 10 pets at home. Some are birds and some are cats. There are 42 legs in all. How many birds and how many cats are there? Mmm. Let us solve this multi-step word problem using an illustration. Let's go! Para ma-solve natin ang problem, narito ang solution. Ang una natin gagawin is, guguhit tayo ng circle para ma-represent ang number. Since sabi dito, mayroong 10 pet si Feli, kaya 10 circles ang ating i-draw. 
Then, lalagyan natin ng tigda-dalawang lines ang bawat circles to represent the legs. So, in total, meron tayong 20 legs. Kaya, mula sa 42 legs, minus natin ang meron na tayong 20 legs, kaya, magkakaroon tayo ng 12 legs. Itong 12 legs, ito na yung natitira. So, ano ang gagawin natin sa 12 legs na ito? We are going to distribute 12 legs by 2 to make the animals with 4 legs. Kaya, didistribute natin ang mga legs sa bawat circle na tig to 2 para maging or magrepresent ito ng four-legged animals. Pagkatapos nating mag-distribute or ma-distribute ang 12 legs sa bawat circles, kung mapapansin mo, meron kang nabuong anim na circles na may apat na legs. Ito ang magre-represent ng four-legged animals, which is cat. At ang natitirang circle sa may dalawang stick lang or legs ang magre-represent ng birds. Therefore, we have or Feli has six cats and four birds. Napakadali at napakasimple lamang, di ba? I hope you learned from this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. You can also hit the bell button to get notified for my latest videos. Again, I'm Mamsi and thank you for watching. Bye!